boy. Okay. I can't take myself seriously. What is up, you guys? Happy Valentine's Day. Today, I'm going to be filming a video that is so requested, and I don't know why, and... <laughs> Today I'm going to be talking about boys and relationships and dating. I don't know why, but you guys really are curious my thoughts on relationships and dating and boys and everything like that. So I'm just going to talk about it, give my tips and advice on dating and all that fun stuff, which is like actually so crazy for me. I just thought this would be more of like a fun video where it's like a big sis, little sis kind of deal where I'm like, yeah, this is my experience. This is, you know, my thoughts on this and you can take from it what you want. I just thought it'd be something fun and I want to do more videos where I'm just like sitting down and talk to you guys. So I didn't like write down bullet points or anything like 10 tips to get the guy you want because, well, I don't know how to do that. So definitely a lucky gal, but like, I don't know. I, I don't think there's like a specific way to like do all this. So boys, what are we going to do with them? What are, what are we going to do without them? Like, actually. As you guys know, I go to a huge state school. I'm surrounded by this whole society all the time. And it's definitely very interesting. And I don't know. There's also, it's just, it's so crazy to me how, like, we rely so much on, like, Snapchat and social media to, like, talk to boys. It's just actually insane to me. And I'm not judging by any means. Like, I've done it too. But it's just, like, so crazy. <laughs> I think one thing that you guys have to remember, especially with the new Snapchat update, like even for me, like when I will Snapchat like a friend, like, and she like doesn't open it, like I get so upset. I'm like, what? Like, especially with the new Snapchat update, I don't know if you guys notice, one, I get like no views on my story, but that's like a whole other thing. Anyways, <laughs> um, like when I Snapchat a friend, like first of all, she doesn't even see it for a couple of hours because, and it's the same for me, like I don't even notice someone Snapchatting me a lot of the times because like of the new Snapchat update, I just think that they like posted a story or something, it's really confusing. And then also, I get so upset when people like open my Snapchat, but then what if they think it's like your story? Like, I don't know, these are just the things I think about because my friend was talking to me this morning, she was like, Danielle, you know, like this boy like opened my Snapchat. And I'm like, first of all, the new Snapchat update sucks. So that's one thing to make you maybe feel better. So you know, all back in my high school days when I didn't have game, but like I would Snapchat, you know, people every now and then. I would get so anxious about like waiting for him to respond and then oh my god he opened it he doesn't like me like oh my gosh I do not miss feeling like that at all and I just want to make this video because I want you guys to know that you shouldn't value snapchat I just want you guys to know that like your worth is so much more than someone squaring you on snapchat it's actually insane because like I even know for me like if someone snapchats me like, I'll open it and I'll be like, oh, that's so cool. Like, oh, she looks so cute. Like, oh, he looks so cool. Or I don't really know. Whatever it is. And I don't respond because either one, I just woke up and I look really bad and I'm like on my phone like half asleep. Two, I don't really think of it. Three, I... I don't know, I just don't. Sure, every now and then I'll like purposely put someone on open. Like, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, every now and then I'll be like, I'm not gonna respond, like ha ha ha. But really that's not usually how it goes and especially with guys. Like, I just talked to my guy friends about it because I remember I was so curious about the whole science of everything and half the times so I was talking to my guy friends and they were like, literally like I just don't even think like, oh, it's a big deal to Snapchat them back. So that's like one thing. But yeah, my biggest, so that's like the whole Snapchat thing. But my biggest thing with like actually dating and like, trying to like flirt with guys and stuff is the biggest thing is you need to love yourself first and I know that's so so cliche and I know it's Valentine's Day and like you're probably sitting here eating chocolate you know it's one of those days I feel you I am not kidding when I say the most attention I would get from the opposite sex is when I was like not paying attention to it at all and I was like doing my own thing and I know that sounds actually insane but it's so true and I've told so many of my friends this in the past and then it worked. Think about it. You're into this guy or a girl, whoever you're into. Let's think about it. You're into someone, whether it's a guy or a girl, whatever it may be. And you're into them because they love themselves, not in like a cocky way, but they're doing their thing. They have passions. They're a really fun person to be around, whatever your reasons are. But it's because they're doing their own thing and they're happy in their own body. You would not be attracted to them if they were all over you and they were tracking your every move and they weren't happy with themselves and they didn't know what they wanted to do with their life and they were lost and they were relying on you for their happiness, like you wouldn't be attracted to that and that's just natural. So you have to think about it in your aspect. When you're stressing about them Snapchatting and like literally respond to them right away because you have literally nothing else to do because you're just thinking about them the whole time, they're not gonna be wanting to jump right on that. Like they're not gonna be super attracted to that. And I'm, I know this might sound harsh, but it really is the truth. My biggest tip honestly for like 
getting guys or you know what I'm trying to say like for like getting people's attention is really just doing your own thing and like yeah okay it's so fine to like send a snapchat every now and then or a text or when you see them in person for god's sakes like say hey you know ask them how they are ask to go to get coffee but also still be like yeah I'm doing my thing because I'm telling you it is so attractive to other people when you're like so happy with yourself Go out with your girlfriends one night and just have a girl's night. Like, it is so important. Like, nothing is more important than, like, your happiness and, like, your your surroundings. And there should be no, like, sacrificing yourself to get something like that. The amount of people that have told me, oh my gosh, I just want a boyfriend. I just want a girlfriend. I just, I just want to be dating someone already. And I'm like, okay, well, like, who do you, like, who? And then they don't really know. They're like, I don't really know. And I'm like, well, don't get down on yourself about that. There's no reason to get on, down on yourself about that because there's no one you even want to date right now. I guess you can be bummed that you haven't met someone that you want to date or whatever yet, but hey, like, I'm a big believer that everything happens for a reason and there's timing for everything. Like, I've had experiences in life where I don't understand why something's happening to me, and then a couple months or maybe a couple years later, I'm like, this is why. I was supposed to be here at this moment. I was supposed to be with this person at this moment. Like. It's insane. So that's just something you guys always have to remind yourself because I feel like there's so many, oh, especially on today, like, oh, here I am, sad alone. Well, if you're, you're putting that energy out into the world, putting the energy out into the world that you're negative and you're sad and you're lonely, like, it's not attractive to other people. Like, no one, like, sure, you might make friends through it and be like, oh my God, you're sad and lonely too? Oh my God. But that is just not empowering in any sense. Yes, it is empowering. To, like I'm not saying it's not okay to be sad. It's so important to always feel your feelings and like especially if you have some close friends who might have the same feelings as you. Like, like yeah, go cry with them. Yeah, go see the new Fifty Shades of Grey. Like do all those things, but don't get so down on yourself that you know it's not doing good for you. And I know that might just be kind of harsh, but I guess my biggest point here is just do you, girl or guy. Like love yourself. Do your thing, have fun, and I promise those things will come to you. It is just, I like, I would explain examples, but I just feel funky doing it online because I don't know who's watching, but there were just times in my life where I'd be like attracted to a guy and like I just didn't think he liked me and I was just like, okay, whatever, I'm just going to forget about it. And then a few weeks later, like he snapchatted me and like wanted to hang out and get dinner and I was like, excuse me like then it's like oh my gosh I was finally just like doing my thing and like not worrying and then it's like ah no you're catching my feelings so it's just funny how that all works out and like I'm not saying that's gonna happen every time like oh there's this really cute boy that I really really like but he doesn't know who I am so I'm just gonna do my own thing and he's gonna find me no of course that's not gonna happen I wish I could say that's always gonna happen but it's not but maybe make an initiative maybe say hi maybe follow them maybe message them I don't really know I hate saying these like social media things but it is definitely a way to like get in touch with people and then go from there you know get their attention once and then do your thing and they'll take the rest I promise <laughs> so yeah that was my dating advice I hope it was any sort of help I love you guys so much I guess that wasn't really dating it was more so like how to get through like I don't really know I just love you guys so much and I want to share whatever advice I have with you guys if you guys liked any of the things I said, definitely let me know. Comment down below the next video you want me to film. I'm really trying to just do more videos where I just talk, but then I also know I really ramble, so then I get mad at myself. Like, I know when I sit down to edit this video, I'm gonna be like, oh my God, Danielle, what did you say? Happy Valentine's Day, you guys. I love you guys so much. Um, I'm gonna be celebrating today by going to dance rehearsal and doing my thing, probably doing some FaceTime and saying hi to my loved ones, but not really much else of that. Like, I don't know, I'm not a huge Valentine's Day person. I never really have been. Like. I never was anti-Valentine's Day, but like I've never been like, I don't know. I just feel like we should always love each other. Like, I don't know. But it's like a cute day, don't get me wrong. Like, I was a big Valentine's Day person in like preschool. And honestly, up to high school, we would do like Valentine's and stuff, what am I saying? But in college, I feel like we're not gonna do any of that. So it's like, what's the point? Um, but anyways, I love you guys so much. Happy Valentine's Day, happy love everything. And I'll talk to you guys soon. And I hope this was any sort of help. <laughs> Bye guys.